Hey everyone, excited to be back for this week's edition of Frequently Asked Questions for Commercial Real Estate. In today's video, what I wanna do is talk about a question I got asked recently from an office tenant that I'm looking for space for, uh, and that is what's known as, what is rentable versus usable square footage? Uh, this is actually a term that's commonly used in the office space, so if you're interested in learning exactly what that is, let's say you're a real estate agent or a office user looking for space, getting to know what those two terms mean can help you significantly as you start identifying opportunities out there within the marketplace. So before you dive in this video, I would really appreciate it if you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and ensures more and more people can hear this message and learn about the many facets of commercial real estate. So now that you've done that, go ahead and like and subscribe below. Let's go ahead and dive right into this episode. All right. So as we explained, we, we want to learn a little bit more about what exactly is rentable versus usable square footage. So let's dive into each of the concepts so we can better illustrate what exactly that means. Your usable square footage is the space within your walls. So if you imagine you have an, a thousand square foot office space, that thousand square feet within the walls is considered your usable square footage or it's the space only accessible to the tenant. Now, rentable square footage is what you will be billed on on a monthly basis. So if you're in a multi-tenant office building, for example, the rentable square footage will include your pro rata share of the common areas. So elevators, shared bathrooms, uh, stairwells, et cetera. Um, and that, that's really gonna be considered your rentable square footage. So just to give you an example of how this is calculated essentially, let's take an example of a 12,000 square foot building. Now, you, you, it's a standalone 12,000 square foot building that has about 2,000 square feet of common area. There are two tenants within the building that each have half the space. So in this example, your usable square footage would be 5,000 square feet, right? Because there's two tenants that have the same amount of space and there's 2,000 square feet of, of shared space. So the 5,000 plus the 2,000 plus the 5,000 gives you the 12,000 square foot building. But the usable square footage, what's within the walls and only accessible to the tenant is 5,000 square feet. Now in the rentable square foot scenario, well, there's 2,000 square feet of shared space. Now, since both tenants have the same amount of footprint, they each are going to take half of the shared space. So the rentable square footage is going to be 6,000 square feet. Now, when you're calculating what your rent expense is going to be on a monthly basis, you're going to use the 6,000 square feet or the rentable square footage to make that calculation. So for example, if the average rent for that, for that property is $12 a square foot, You'd multiply your 6,000 by $12 a square foot to get $72,000 per year in rent paid. And then per month, that's $6,000 a month in rent. So hopefully you gained some value from this video. Now, hopefully now you understand the difference between usable square footage and rentable square footage. So that is you're looking at lease opportunities, you get a feel for what the extra expenses are gonna be associated with locating in that particular location. And then as you start comparing lease, lease agreements, you may say, oh, this is actually much more reasonable because maybe there's less shared space that, you have, that you're responsible for. Therefore, maybe your rental payment is gonna be a little bit more reasonable. So hope you gain some value from this video. Really appreciate it. If you like this channel, please like and subscribe. We really appreciate all the support. Uh, if, if you're in the market uh, here in the Louisville metro area or surrounding areas and you're looking for office space or any type of commercial property to buy, sell, or lease, Feel free to give me a call. My number is 502-536-7315, or you can reach me via email at raphael at a commercial, I'm a commercial real estate agent in town that would love to help you with your business goals. So thank you so much, and we'll see you all next time.